What is going on guys, Repel here bringing you yet another XMI Wi-Fi battle. Today we have a very short yet awesome battle. Today we're up against Lil Jim and uh, I brought myself a classic team myself too, so gotta watch out for Lil Jim. Unfortunately my Skarmory does not know Stealth Rocks, which kind of is a bummer because Lil Jim does have three flying types, but yeah, let's just get right onto it. So, Lil Jim's gonna lead off with Greninja, I kinda expected that, or even, you know, whatever, I'm gonna lead off with my Rotom Wash because it's Choice Scarf, so it'll outspeed even this Greninja. Went for a Volt Switch just in case he thought I was Choice Scarf and decided to switch out too, but luckily he did stay in, so I was able to kill this Greninja. I did have like, according to damage calculator, I did have only a 50% chance to kill with Volt Switch, and luckily I killed it so I'm gonna set out my crustle because I want to set up a sap so he's gonna set up the send out the Charizard I can see why he's gonna go for flame burst to potentially burn me however he doesn't burn me so luckily I'm able to get that shell smash and that flame burst only did less than half so that's pretty freaking sweet I'm gonna get all of my stats boosted unfortunately I do get my defenses dropped but however I do have that white herb chillin with me so naturally none of my stats were dropped so of course I had to speed this Charizard and finish off with the Rock Slide so it's funny to see this Charizard is not the Mega so I'm pretty sure it's probably the Venusaur or the Aerodactyl so it's kind of rare but yet pretty refreshing to not see the Charizard as Mega so out comes the Norbert I wasn't sure if I was out speed but um luckily I was able to out speed and I finished off this Norbert with a Rock Slide too so kind of glad to have Rock Slide on this um on this crustle instead of stone edge because I'm pretty sure I would have missed by now at least once. <laughs> so I missed my rock slide so yeah I probably would have missed my stone edge <laughs> and my opponent misses the rock jump too so that gives me another opportunity to go for the um, rock slide so luckily um, I was able to outspeed this aerodactyl too so had it been a mega um, it just probably might outspeed me so finally we know that now this is probably the mega yep this is Venusaur, and then none of my attacks can uh, one-shot this Mega Venusaur, so um, I just thought, well, I'm going to go for my Rock Slide to just probably uh, expect to get that flinch. Um, if I can get that flinch, that would be pretty, pretty freaking sweet, but however, he, I don't get that flinch, and uh, this Mega Venusaur will finish me down, but I'm pretty glad. Honestly, I was able to take out like a, uh, you know half of his team with Crustle, so... Gotta give him my props to Crustle. I'm gonna send out my SBM to revenge kill this Venusaur, so. Yeah, I could have sent out my Flareon, but you know, Venusaur does have that thick, thick fat ability, so. Naturally, my opponent will send down his final and last Pokemon, his Chestnut, and um, of course, I'll speed it and finish it off this Chestnut with a sidekick, so. Pretty freaking sweet. Lovely Crustle mini sweep going on there, so. Thank you. Crustle and thank you Lil Jim for bringing such an excellent team and challenging me. If you guys like this battle, please leave that awesome like. Make sure to comment and subscribe. Thanks for watching.